Hey YouModMind.com Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at ModMind.com. Today we're going to be talking about the top five city of tweaks for the lock screen. The first one we're looking at here is in the Big Boss Repo Free called Jelly Lock 7. And it's a lock screen app launcher. And it allows you to choose up to six different applications to open directly from your lock screen. You see the little circle there? If I tap my finger on that and hold, I get a pop up there. And I have six different choices that I can slide it over top of. And if I slide that over top of any one of those and just release it, it will open that application immediately. That's called Jelly Lock 7. Now let's go in here and look at some of its actual setting now when you first install this it probably will look a little bit different because in the uh, app shortcuts I have replaced the camera tweak the camera app with the activator just to show you that you can have up to six different applications then you would just go through here choose whichever ones you want uh, that's gonna be left up to you and then you would go into uh, jelly lock 7 you can also disable the default unlock if you don't want to slide the unlock that's going to be left up to you and have the camera icon the appearance you can change you can have whether or not you want to show badges on the on the lock screen personally i think it looks nice you can blur the background you can disable the grabber fading uh, you can have a low opacity for the grabbers there's a lot of different things you can do here and you, you can change the color of your circle even if you don't like the white maybe you want it yellow and you can reduce and increase and decrease its opacity and you can offset the the bottom closer to the bottom closer off the bottom you know that's going to be left up to you too so now let's go back out and see how much damage we've done we've actually moved it closer to the bottom quite a bit but that's called jelly lock 7 guys the next one i want to show you is called subtle lock for ios 7 and if you have the first thing in the settings here you have an enable disable switch and in the clock, the reason I brought you in here first, you can have a dual clock, a subtle clock, which I'm going to turn on. And you can change, you can have any time zone, imaginable in the world almost. You can have the clock have seconds if you want it to. You can have the date. You can increase and decrease the font size. You can have the clock bold and you can change the color of the clock. That's why my clock is yellow because I set it to yellow. And you can also increase your the, the font size in here if you want it to increase and make, make everything larger. Then you could just move this slider farther to the right. I'm going to increase it all the way. If you hit reset, it goes back to the default. But anyway, we come back out and you got other things you can change for the slider. If you want to change the position of the slider, maybe you want to bring it farther up that subtle lock but it requires a respring and guys I'm gonna show you a little something I do when I don't have a respring I open up winterboard turn something on and off and then I respring don't tell the city of Twick police or jailbreak to it uh, jailbreak police they may come and arrest me sometimes I cheat off winterboard a little bit but anyway now you see the the clock writing and font size is much larger up at the top all that's coming through subtle lock this is an awesome little tweak guys and subtle lock is one dollar in the big boss repo the next one we're going to look at is called forecast and you just saw it i'm sure on the lock screen it's available in the mod my repo for 99 cents and that's where you see this little in the bottom left corner down here the the weather you got mostly clear 70 degrees you got the high the low all that okay if you swipe to the the left you're gonna get the extended forecast and you can get even hour by hour forecast right here in the center of the page so you know it's pretty cool that they add that little touch on there but I really enjoy this forecast I use this a whole lot that's uh, called forecast and it's one dollar and if you go into settings on forecast if you're hiding the unlock slider you can only show the weather with the clock it says so hide the description sh show slide to unlock uh, all this is going to be individual preferences guys show the forecast page that's just what i showed you when i swipe to the left update every 15 minutes weather wallpaper show on the lock screen show on the home screen animations so let's look on the lock screen so that's where it's at right there 
and if you swipe you can just tap it and it will actually pull that up too you can also get it by swiping left but anyway guys that's called forecast and it's 99 cents in the mod my repo the next one we're going to talk about is priority hub priority hub is a free tweak in the big boss repo and what it does is it allows you to get you see now we get the little thing at the top up there if you want to tap that you can close those if you tap it again it opens them up now you can choose to have that at the top or the bottom okay now if you come in here to priority hub and you change your location to the bottom now whenever I get a new text it's gonna be at the bottom okay and you would have to sort of position that a little bit better because it's sort of getting in the way with your jelly lock uh, slider so in, anyway guys that's an awesome little tweak too and it's called priority hub and it's a free tweak the last one I'm going to share with you and the fifth one is my favorite and it's called Intelliscreen X 7. This is available in the My, My Repo for $9.99. It is a bit expensive guys but it's one of the best tweaks ever developed in my personal opinion to ever hit the city store or a jailbreak device. And this you'll see what I'm talking about just in a second. This shows everything about your mail, Twitter, Facebook, everything you need all wrapped up in one tweak. And you see now when we open up our, our lock screen, we have several things going on. At the top you have your clock. You also have an RSS feed up here. You can set that to be from any of your favorite sites such as modmy.com or maybe iphonecaptain.com. You also have your weather in here in the center. That's coming from Intelliscreen X. Now that has nothing to do with forecast down here at the bottom left corner. Don't get those confused. You get this weather from Intelliscreen X right here, the one you see me moving right below the clock up here. You can set up all these different icons you see here. You can read your mail, Mod My Eye. You can have any app notifications, anything you want upcoming calendar events anything imaginable can all be displayed right here on your lock screen okay guys if you swipe down on the top left corner and pull toward the bottom you're going to get a drop down of applications also in intelliscreen x if you look up there in my status bar you see i have that little mail symbol up there that's coming from Intelliscreen X. I'm sorry, Intelliscreen X7. And we're going to try to change that. Here's the ticker, they call it. The HUD setting for the ticker. And activators, the show slide. And you can change that to be whatever you want it to be. When you first install it, it'll be swiped down from the top on the left side of the status bar. That's how they got it set up when you first install it. The slide pop. I'm sorry, the slide populates with your recent app activity. So whatever you have opened last will be what's opened on the in that slide, okay? So keep that in mind. And you can open that anywhere in iOS, just like you saw me do right then. Swipe down, it's very easy to get rid of. Just flip it up and it'll go away too. But if you hit the home button, it'll go away just the same, just like where it was on the lock screen. And you can also turn on or off whether or not you want to have a status bar icon for missed calls, unread SMS. Up there at the top, you see the little comments. Okay, if you turn that off, it goes away. If you turn that little email off, now both of them's gone away. I personally, I like I like having those. Here you have a message and compose button. A message and settings here to enable show on lock screen manual banner dismiss uh, messages and activation you you set up here to compose a message if you want to compose a message by triple pressing the home button you can set that up here guys Intelliscreen X7 has so many different things you can do with it it would take me 30 minutes to go over everything just about it but as you can see here it's a it's a lock screen tweak from way up I mean it just covers everything on your device almost I mean you got everything imaginable you have your mail your Twitter Facebook RSS feed 
if you don't want any of that there you if you do want didn't want to say you didn't want to read facebook all you have to do is just pull it down here to, to where it says hidden in telescreen x pages now facebook wouldn't be shown no more this is called Intellascreen X, guys. It's an awesome tweak. It's one of the best tweaks I've ever used. Get it. I know you'll love it. You'll be thanking me for it for months and months to come. Hit that subscribe button. We've worked really hard for you. Let us know what you think about these videos. Subscribe and keep coming back.